we can discuss about immuno bloating techniques uh, it's a powerful tool and sensitive technique for identifying the presence of specific biomolecules it can be used to detect whether rna protein uh, or antigen or antibody anything so we will in general we can uh, say that it is used to identify the presence of specific biomolecules and the first technique was discovered by southern bloat plot by a scientist dr edward southern to detect specific dna molecule so adinu sheshamana idine modify cheyidittu bakkiyulla pala materials neyum identify cheyan venditte nammal use cheyidittullathu there are different other bloating technique like another northern bloating for detection of rna western bloat for detection of protein eastern bloat for detection of post translational modified protein and southern bloat for detection of dna binding proteins so here we will discuss southern bloating so what is southern bloating it's an hybridization technique for the identification of particular size of dna from the mixture of other similar molecules and uh, it's an example of restriction fragment length poly polymorphism and it was discovered by edward m southern now what is the basic principle of southern bloating this technique is based on the principle of separation of dna fragment by gel electrophoresis and this gel electrophoresis is the separation of different particles or different fragments of dna on the basis of size and charge of different fragments after the separation of this fragment by electrophoresis this fragmented dna is transferred to an nylon membrane and then it is identified by a labeled probe hybridization so uh, here we will use one radio labeled or radioactive material to label this uh, to detect the hybridized probe അപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഡിറ്റക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഡി എൻ എനെ അതിൻ്റെ കോംപ്ലിമെൻ്ററി ആയിട്ട് ഉള്ള ഒരു ജീനിനെ വെച്ചിട്ട് ആണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ ലാബൽഡ് ജീന് ഹൈബ്രിഡൈസ് മീൻസ് റേഡിയോ ലാബിൽ ചെയ്യാം അപ്പോൾ അത് അതുമായിട്ട് ഹൈബ്രിഡൈസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഹൈബ്രിഡൈസ്ഡ് സെല്ലിനെ നമുക്ക് റേഡിയോഗ്രാഫി മെത്തേഡിൽ നമുക്ക് അതിനെ ഡിറ്റക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ബേസിക് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നൗ ലെറ്റ് സി വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഫോർ സദൻ ബ്ലോട്ടി first step is extract and purify dna from the cell so uh, the sample may be uh, from the cell it may be from the skin nail namaku uh, forensic lo okke use cheyina edo reethiyulla sample ol aayirikkam appo namaku oru cell kitti kaniyanal allengil oru oru aalde blood o endengilum kitti kaniyanal aa blood il cell il ulla dna ne extract cheya purify cheya ennalladana first step ennu parayam and coming to second step it is restriction digestion by using restriction endonuclease enzyme and it may be how to replicate or amplify the desired dna by pcr polymerized chain reaction so we will get the different fragments of dna so uh, to uh, separate the fragment dna we will use an gel electrophoresis by using sodium dodecyl sulfate so after gel electrophoresis the separated dna is denaturated by either treating hcl or uh, naoh sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid after that we will blot blot this uh, denatured separated dna by using nitrocellulone cellulose membrane then uh, in order to prevent or in order to block the undesired site or non specific site we have to back this uh, bloating membrane and we have to block the uh, unspecific site by using casein or bovine serum albumin this is also important in order to block the unspecific site we have to Uh, uh saturate the non specific site by bovine serum albumin okay then after that we will uh, perform an hybridization reaction by using labeled probe then uh, the labeled 
uh, hybridized DNA can be visualized by autoradiogram. So this is the different steps of southern plotting. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the southern plotting. First we have to separate the gene. Then uh, after separating the gene we have to fragment it by using restriction endonuclease enzyme. Then we will perform agar gel electrophoresis using sodium dodecyl sulfate gel. So that high, uh, we can separate the high molecular and low molecular weight uh, fragments of DNA. And this is blotted on an uh, nitrocellulone or nylon fibers. Then we will block uh, the non-specific site by using casein or bovine serum albumin. Then after that we will hybridize with the radio labeled uh, desired gene though, so that the hybridized uh, DNA can be visualized by using X-ray uh, films. Okay, so this is the technique of southern plotting. So now coming to the each step, first step is extraction and purification of DNA from the cell. So first we have to incubate the specimen with the detergent to promote the cell lysis which will free the cell proteins as well as the DNA. So when the cell protein and DNA get uh, freed, the proteins are enzymatically degraded by the incubation with an enzyme, proteinase enzyme, which is used to degrade the uh, proteins. Then this uh, protein can be removed or extracted by using different organic and non-organic uh, solutions. And the uh, isolated DNA is purified from the solution by alcohol precipitation and the visible DNA fibers are removed and suspended in a buffer. So this is the first step, extract and purification of DNA from the cell. Now coming to the second st step, that is the restriction digestion. Here, DNA fragmentized by using restriction endonuclease enzyme. And if it is required, we have to amplify the required DNA by using polymerized chain reaction. Now coming to third step, the gel electrophoresis. So the desired DNA fragments are separated by sodium dodecyl sulfate gel electrophoresis and here the separation will be on the basis of size and charge of the uh, desired DNA fragments. Now coming to the fourth step that is the denaturation. After the electrophoresis this uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate gel is soaked in hydrochloric acid or sodium hydroxide to denaturate a double standard DNA fragment. And this causes double standard DNA to become single standard. Then the DNA is then neutralized with proven rehybridization before adding the probe. HCL NaOHM which treated denaturate then neutralize sodium chloride use rehybridization prevent okay now coming to next is bloating the separated strands of dna are then transferred to a positively charged nylon membrane usually nitrocellulose paper by a process of bloating and this bloating can be uh, made permanent by two methods either by drying at 80 degree celsius or by exposing to uv radiation so uh, bloating step is the transfer of separated DNA into an charged nylon membrane. So, okay. Now coming to the sixth step that is the baking and blocking with the casein or bovine serum albumin. So after the DNA of interest bonded into the membrane that is a nitrocellulose membrane, it is backed on, uh, on the membrane by autoclave to fix into the membrane. Then the membrane is treated with casein or bovine serum albumin uh, which will saturate all the binding site of the membrane and this step is done to block all other non-specific binding site. Now coming to the seventh step, the DNA bounded to the membrane is treated with a radio labeled probe which containing complementary sequence of the gene of interest. So, the probe will bind with the complementary DNA on the membrane since all other non-specific binding site on the membrane has been blocked by BSA. Now, we have to say bovine serum albumin 
ഏജൻറ്റ് കൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നോൺ സ്പെസിഫിക് ബൈൻഡിങ് സൈറ്റിനെ ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് അപ്പോൾ പ്രോ ബൈൻഡഡ് വിത്ത് കോംപ്ലിമെൻ്ററി ഡി എൻ എ മാത്രമേ സ്പെസിഫിക് സൈറ്റുമായിട്ട് ബൈൻഡ് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ നൗ കമ്മിങ് ടു ലാസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ വിഷ്വലൈസേഷൻ ബൈ ഓട്ടോ റേഡിയോഗ്രാം ദ മെമ്പ്രീൻ ബോണ്ടഡ് ഡി എൻ എ ലാബിൾഡ് വിത്ത് പ്രോപ്പ് ക്യാൻ ബി വിഷ്വലൈസ്ഡ് അണ്ടർ ഓട്ടോ റേഡിയോഗ്രാം വിച്ച് വിൽ ഗീവ് ദ പാറ്റേൺ ഓഫ് ദി ബാൻഡ് ഈഫ് ദ പ്രോബ് ഈസ് റേഡിയോ ആക്റ്റീവ് ദ പാർട്ടിക്കിൾ എമിറ്റ് വെൻ എക്സ്പോസ് ടു ദ എക്സറേ ഫിലിം there will be a dark spot on the film whenever probe has bonded with the complementary dna which is labeled with radioactive agent like phosphorus 32 this is the step that we have already mentioned we have to fragment this by restriction endonuclease then we have to separate the uh, fragmented dna according to the molecular by using gel electrophoresis using sodium dodecyl sulfate gel then we have to inactivate this one by nacl treatment to get a single stranded dna then we have to blot it uh, by using nitrocellulose nylon membrane then we have to block the non specific site by using bovine serum albumin then we will hybridize this with the p uh, p32 prop which is complementary to the desired dna so we will get a band of uh, hybridized genes or hybridized dnas so this is another ingane aayirikku namukku kitta band ennu parayunnathu xray film created by labeled probe label cheyidittulla probe maayittu bind cheyidittulla dna maatrame inganulla bandgal create cheyullu okay now what are the different applications of southern blotting it can be used to detect the dna in a given sample can be used to isolate the desired dna for the construction of uh, desired dna in case of recombinant dna technology or genetic engineering it's uh, a, an example of dna uh, fingerprinting uh, southern blotting thaneyana dna fingerprint nu vendi to use cheynadu sadharana crime scene nokke namukku kittunna sample nu specific dna ne isolate cheyan vendi to nammal use cheyna oru method thaneyana southern blotting ennu parayunnathu it is used for the paternity testing crimin- criminal identification and victim identification and it is used to isolate and identify the desired gene of interest used in restriction fragment length po- polymorphism then used to uh, identify the mutation or gene arrangement in uh, sequence of dna and it is used in diagnosis of disease caused by genetic defects and it is used in prognosis of cancer and in parental diagnosis of some genetic diseases so these are the different applications of southern blotting so that is all about the western blotting different steps and applications of western blotting